Hey, hi. Hello. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm tired. <laughs> I would like to point your attention, direct your attention to this sweatshirt that says Exhausted by Existence, which is literally me because being alive is exhausting. I think my camera is crooked, but what's new? You just have to deal with it. Jessica, what is this? What is this background? Well, we've moved, yay, into our house. We bought a house, yay, in Louisiana. Uh. And anyway, we moved in last Wednesday. We closed, we stayed the night on our air mattress. Thursday, our stuff. I'm getting ahead of myself. This video is basically an update kind of of what's been going on um and stuff going forward because things are changing here in my life so that's going to affect the channel so that's what this video is about so first exhausted by existence this is from boardwalk and i did buy this but um i do have an affiliate code i can't remember it i'll put it on the screen there's a link down below you can click that link so they know i sent you and then you get a certain percentage off your order they have so many so many t-shirts hoodies sweatshirts it's kind of hard to pick but this is literally how i feel exhausted by being alive but i'm here so update today i'm filming this it is uh sunday october 9th so we moved in october 5th we closed uh we stayed here that night we had an air mattress earlier or the week before the people who had our stuff called to say that some of our stuff had arrived so all of our household goods when they were packed up um, were packed into six big crates and for some reason they put them on two different ships so four of the crates arrived and two uh are still in the port of houston as of the last time i heard so they were delivered on thursday uh there's like if you know about military moves then you know but there's basically the checklist of the items that are supposed to be in the crate and you're supposed to check them off as they're unloading the stuff to you make sure you have all of your stuff but the things that were on the checklist for these crates all of it was not in there so we don't know if it's lost or if it's with the other two crates don't know kind of had a breakdown actually not kind of i had a breakdown about that because the process the claims process is just so slow it's never a guarantee that you're gonna get like your money back and then if you do it's probably not gonna be enough to replace it. it's a mess so i'm hoping that the stuff is just with the other crates and then this weird thing i don't know if other movers do it but they seem to do it with military moves is that when they're taking things apart that have screws and whatever even like power cords what they put them in one box so the stuff that they did deliver luckily we did get our bed and the bed frame mattress box frame thankfully um but then like we got i have like two two bookcases only one has shelves and then i have shelves of one bookcase and not the bookcase i got some books but not all of them um we got like the tv but no power cord um so stuff like that i got like the tube of my vacuum but not the actual like vacuum part I got one attachment of my vacuum and not the rest of it and sad sad part I got my computer so like my tower for my gaming computer my desktop and I was, or my monitor and I was so excited and no cords so I went to Best Buy tried to buy cords it works for the computer didn't work for the monitor so I ordered a cord from Amazon I'm hoping that it works because I just need the sims in my life so that's what we're dealing with this like I thought we were gonna get things and we we're able to unpack and put things away and organize but everything's like partial so it's kind of chaotic anyway i had been looking because you know this is the first time we owned a home first time like we're really going to decorate and be able to paint all that stuff and so i found a paint color when i was on pinterest and i fell in love with it it's called sea salt by sherman sherman i keep wanting to call him sherman sherman williams and that is why i'm standing in front of this wall because this is what we just finished doing painting this wall you probably can't tell on the camera um but i can insert a clip oh. hey you oh. want to tell the people this is just i'm filming an update video do you have anything to say to them no nothing um i'm tired yeah that's the theme of one wall yeah we did one wall <laughs> it's like okay that's enough for today i was like let me film this update video very quickly anyway this is sea salt 
and I am bad at committing to things but I was like I want this color because our entire house is painted agreeable gray which is a nice gray but I do not want the entire house to be gray anyway I know you can't tell but I'm obsessed it's perfect I love it it's so cool and calming and that's what I'm gonna need because transitioning into the next update I do have a yob uh, and yay um and I start on the 17th it is remote so I will be working from home but like I haven't worked for the man in three years this is going to be tough and I was like I need to make this a nice cool relaxing calming space and see so is speaking to that and so once this is finished which is not gonna be finished today it's going to be we have we have vision so we have started working on that because I need things that I'm excited about to work on so I do not collapse into a ball of depression <laughs> okay we're gonna move to the next room because we're going on a mini tour if you want a full tour sorry this room patreon side <laughs> Also, Andrew joined the Stanley Cup gang. But you're using mine. We don't have no cups. They didn't bring none of our kitchen stuff. So I needed to put an iced coffee in here, so I had to use it. He said he was gonna use it for coffee, not water. I was testing it out. It works great. Onward. You're welcome. Okay. You like my sweatshirt? Did you see it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take this tape off. <gasps> oh my God, should I film that? Too late. All right. Next room. Okay. Jessica, why are we in here? Because I'm in debt because of these. So you're gonna see them. And this is not to be like, ooh, look at me. No, appliances cost you goddamn much, so I need somebody else to look at them. Okay, look at them. I got them yesterday. <laughs> also, we were, we were looking, because we've gone to Lowe's and Best Buy multiple times to look at appliances. And I am very upset at the washer dryer game because when we bought one years ago before we moved to Sicily, Nigel, please. I felt like the top loaders were way cuter. When we went back this time, I was like, ain't nothing cute in here. All the cute ones are the front loaders. But then I asked people and I was doing research and I was like, I don't want a front loader. So we got these. <laughs> You gotta pay them off though. We did get 12 months free, uh, no interest from Lowe's. So they will be paid off in a year, but still. <laughs> Why does it cost so much to wash clothes in your home? <laughs> okay. Nigel is being a drama queen. He's currently in his crate because we can't have him running in while we were painting. And this is some of the chaos. You're not, I'm not even, you're not even. We're not gonna see that. If you wanna see the chaos, you gotta be exclusive. That's Patreon. Okay, last appliance we're gonna see here in this video is my refrigerator. Cause again, dead. <laughs> so I need someone. <laughs> this lighting is actually pretty good in here. So that's what's been going on. Been like, yay. And also been like, ooh, you know? Cause it's like very grateful that we're able to afford to get a home, especially a brand new one. Um, and it's really exciting to be in a space that no one has ever lived in before and be able to do things. But then also I don't like, but I live in the fucking rural Louisiana that's inside of America. Ooh, it makes me sick to my stomach. So like warring of emotions. But anywho, I start the job um, on October 17th. So it's Monday through Friday and it is remote, but it isn't insurance. So, you know, I need, I just, I need a steady paycheck because obviously I have obligations, large payments now that while I'm not going to quit YouTube and I do make money from and am grateful for the income that I do make from YouTube is not like I can't, I need something like I know what the check is going to look like. Um, so I am going to continue to make content. I'm going to try my best to still stick with two videos a week. Sometimes it might be one because let's be real, I like to do nothing. So on the weekends, it might be like, hmm. I don't want to do anything, but we'll see. It's going to be an adjustment period. Um, I have not been reading. I did finish a book last night, an audiobook that I started on my drive up here. And I finished um, because really all I've been doing is coloring on my iPad and watching like Sister Wives. That's really all I've been in mentally, but I finished a book. Um, and I think that's the first book I finished this month and in a few weeks because I just have not been reading. So I'm hoping that as we get into some semblance of normality, because it's not, we're not gonna be settled, settled till I don't even know. I don't know when our other shipment is supposed to come in. And there's just stuff like that, even if it all does come in, we still need to replace things. And I don't know, I, uh, 
my goal is to be settled by Christmas. And even right now that feels like a stretch. So I'm hoping by the new year, it's like we're settled enough, you know? Um, so I'm gonna keep it up at least a one video a week, but I'm gonna try for two. I would like to get back to joining live streams here and there, but I've not really been doing that either just because mental health and just time, I'm just all over the place. Um, and yeah, I'm expecting my reading to be less even when I'm back in a reading space because I will be working, you know, those eight hours during the day. I don't know like how long it'll be before I get into like a full volume of what I'll be doing in my job. So I don't know if there'll be time to like listen to audiobooks or read still really don't know that and um yeah i also haven't played the sims in months i miss the sims i'm loving watching terrible reality tv and just coloring it's just so mindless and i just don't have to think so i expect my reading to be way less which is probably good because i just need to be more intentional with my reads anyway another thing moving in here we're like, I don't know if all of this fits in the space or if we don't like it. Of course, we have ideas for stuff we want to do. And now I'm just like, I want to get rid of so many things. I don't want to be a minimalist, but I would like to get rid of some stuff. And I even feel like I want to get rid of some even more books when the rest get here. But I kind of just wanted to give an update um, to try to explain to you how ugh, I've been. I did get a couple boxes of books and I didn't unpack any of them. Like normally I would burst into it and be like, let me check. And I didn't open any of them. Let's go into that room. We can go into that room. And uh, actually, no, actually it's a mess. Let's not go in there. But I think I have like three or four boxes of books. The only thing I did open was because I had a certain like Rubbermaid container that had some special editions in it. And when it came out, it was all, like all busted up and I was really nervous. So I opened that and those editions are fine. Um, but the other boxes I have, I'm just like, why am I even gonna open them? Where am I gonna put them? Like on my shelf that has no shelves in the bookcase. So like, it's just a mess. Like behind me, like we have the little, the console thingy that our TV went on, but for some reason they took off all the knobs. And then like the TV doesn't have the feet to the TV or the plug. I, we didn't, we have a sofa and love seat, but the sofa's not here. The love seat is here, but the love seat has no feet. It is just, who made these decisions? You know what I'm saying? Um, not a smart person. So that's what's going on. I'm grateful to have internet and stuff though. I had that all set up. Like we moved, like I said, we moved in that Wednesday night. I had the movers come. I had everybody on Thursday morning. The movers, best buy to drop off this refrigerator and AT&T for internet. I was late. I don't come all, we're gonna have a big party. And then we got the washing dryers today. But so we have, for the most part, what we need. Like we don't have kitchen stuff. Um, so we need to get like, I just don't know how long our, like, I don't know how to look till how long our stuff is going to get here. That made no sense. So I'm like, I don't want to keep buying so much stuff that I know is coming. But then also I hate using paper plates and like, oh, I just want my stuff. Anyway, um, I would like to show you one more thing. And it's my favorite part of this fridge. And it is ooh, the beverage center. I don't even, can you even see that? I can't tell. It's the beverage center right here. Fresh water. Anyway, I did put up an aesthetic, no, an ASMR video of like peeling off the stickers or like the, the plastic wrap and stuff from the fridge. And then I'm like, have been obsessively been like, don't touch it. I wiped it down last night. I mean, it's gonna happen. Stainless steel is not stainless. Huh, <sighs> but I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That's really it. Job, move, depression. It's getting worse. Nigel's fine. I think I have a potential vet for him. I'm gonna make an appointment on Monday, um, which is like seven minutes away and it has like a 4.9 rating, which is really great. <sighs> Not having all of our stuff. So, yeah. That's kind of it. Nothing too exciting because it's chaos in here. And um, yeah, but I'm really excited about the painting. And like I said, this is not to like try to be rude or make people feel less than if they're not sub subscribed or like subscribe to my Patreon because that's obviously money. I appreciate everyone who watches my videos. Just like and share. Uh, 
thank you so much. But I'm just saying that content like that, like moving content, I did a moving vlog, I'm doing another one, stuff that'll be like house projects and stuff like that, which I just don't, don't think would perform well here because you know, the algorithm and stuff. And I think it's just very specific content. It's just stuff that'll be on my Patreon. So if you're interested, um, because right now it's this weird transitional period to the most of the content right now is moving content, but um, there's also patron reading sprints and usually book club, book I read and review, video suggestions, um, exclusive Patreon content, stuff like that. So if you're interested, you want to support moi in buying plates or whatever for my house, uh, joining my Patreon is a lovely way. There's other ways down there to support my channel. But like I said, just watching, liking, sharing are amazing ways to support too. I get Nigel so you can say hi to him and then I'm gonna go. Okay. Hey, say hi. Do you like your house? He is very much not impressed. The back door does have like uh, a window. Um, it has a covering on it now, but he lives to just stare out into the back, even though there's nothing back there. But are you happy in your house? That's his happy face. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> um, I plan to have videos coming with community, celebrity, because <laughs> uh, I haven't been reading, so it's just gonna be non-reading content. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreen, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.